Hi guys, my name is Daniel Abuzade and this is a tutorial on how to assemble a mag bag kit. Okay, so first let's identify our atoms. These white balls are gonna be our hydrogens. These green balls are gonna be our halogen. This one black ball is our carbon. This blue ball is our nitrogen and this red ball is our oxygen. So for our hydrogens, remember that a hydrogen in its neutral state has one bond, okay? A halogen has one bond, a carbon has four bonds, a nitrogen has three bonds, and oxygen has two bonds. So that's all in its neutral state. So that's important to remember because this uh, carbon, this nitrogen, this oxygen, they all have four holes. However, we're only gonna put the number of magnets that correlates to the uh, neutral state of bonds. So this nitrogen is only gonna get three magnets inside. This oxygen's only gonna get two magnets. This carbon's gonna get all of the holes filled because it's gonna get all four magnets because it uh, naturally forms four bonds. And then these hydrogens and these halogens only have one hole because they only make one bond. Okay, that being said, the hydrogen and the halogen, they have smaller magnets. So as you may notice, you're gonna get two sets of magnets. One of them is gonna be shorter. That's gonna be used for these hydrogens and halogens because of the size of their hole. And then these magnets are a little bit longer and um, thicker. So these are gonna be used for the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. And I have it written down right here. So your hydrogens, small magnets, halogens, small magnets, carbons, nitrogens, oxygens. You're gonna use your big magnets. Okay, now let's remember that magnets, they have a south pole and a north pole, and that's how they attract. So we want to make sure that these atoms, uh, these atoms eventually are bonded to each other. That means we have to be very careful on how we are placing these magnets inside the hole. Hydrogen, since it only has one hole, you're gonna get six balls total. So you're gonna do three of the balls with the north pole magnet, uh, facing magnet, and then the other three with the south pole facing magnet, and I'll explain that when I'm assembling it. Halogens, you're only going to get one halogen in a bag, so it doesn't matter. You can pick north or south. Carbons, you have to make sure two of these holes are north pole magnets, and two of the hole the holes are south pole magnets. Nitrogens, again, there's four holes total, but we're only filling them with three magnets, three big magnets, because they naturally form three bonds. That means we have to have two of the same poles and one different pole. Oxygen, again, four holes, but we're only filling two magnets because naturally it forms two bonds. So that means we're gonna have one hole that's with a north side magnet, north pole magnet, and the other hole with a south pole magnet. Okay, so I put a glove in my hand because we're about to use super glue and I don't want my hand to get uh, messed up with the glue. So I'm gonna grab one of these small magnets because I'm about to assemble the hydrogen. And I'm gonna just put it right here on the plier. And then I'm gonna grab one of the magnets off of it. And I'm gonna stick it up here. And it will attract to the top of this plier, okay? So then I'm gonna put the plier down, grab the hydrogen ball, Put some glue inside the hole. I'm gonna place the hydrogen ball in the plier, line it up with the magnet, and then just press down. Make sure that it's lined up. Okay, and that's what we kind of want. We want it to be flush against that ball so that we don't need this magnet to be protruding out of the ball. So make sure that it's completely flush. And it might take you a couple of tries like it did mine. Okay. Okay, and so the halogen is gonna be the same process you use for the hydrogen. So it's one bond. It can be either north or south, it doesn't matter. Okay, now for the carbon. For the carbon, we're gonna use these bigger magnets. And I want you to notice something on the carbon. One of these sides, I don't know if you can see that with the light, but it's gonna be rougher than the other three sides. So there's four holes. One is gonna be rough because that's the printing hole. That hole right there is gonna be difficult to insert this 
magnet with. So we're gonna start with it first. I'm gonna put the magnets the big magnet on the tip of this ply right here. Then I'm gonna put on the rough side, I'm gonna put some glue because we're gonna start on the rough side. Line it up, hold it, and just squeeze the magnet in there. And that's what that's how you'll get the magnet inside that side the other sides they're not as rough so you could just literally put the glue in there put the magnet in there and then you can either push it in or you can use the pliers to push it in Make sure, this is the most important part, that you're putting two North Pole magnets, two South Pole magnets. So that attracts, so I know those are the same, that attracts. So how do I get, make sure that the poles are different? Two that attract, now I have to flip it. Again, two of them attract. I have to make sure the other two are the ones that repel, right? So I have to make insert the other two this way. Okay, make sure that you insert the glue get the side that repels so again this side's gonna repel i'm gonna put the magnet in there and then you can either press down or use the pliers to press them down like that okay so then i'm just gonna put the glue in there make sure i'm using the magnet that repels the side that repels. And then just push it down with the plier. The plier makes everything easy. Now I have four sides, two of them repel, two of them attract, okay? We're gonna do the same thing with the nitrogen and the oxygen, except I want you to notice that since the nitrogen, we're only putting in three magnets, two of the same poles. It doesn't matter if the two of the same are the North Pole or if two of the same are the South Pole. Just make sure two are the same, two are different. But because as you saw right here, the bond that's kind of the most difficult is that rough side. And you're gonna see it when you, um, when you get your uh, kit. There's one rough side right here. Avoid this hole. Just go ahead and make the three that you insert the magnets in, go ahead and make it the other holes, okay? Same thing with the oxygen, since we're only inserting two magnets because they naturally only make two bonds, avoid this rough side. Just make sure that the two uh, holes you use are any of the holes except these two.